Hi, hello, welcome to my channel again. Say, now uh, today I am going to solve one more problem on change of order of integration. So, it is very important concept. See, how to go with this problem? We will see. Evaluate double integral xy dy dx over the intervals 0 to 1 x square to 2 minus x by changing the order of integration. So, as I explained in the previous video, the identification of the reason is the very important task here. So, we need to identify which reason we need to evaluate. That is very important thing. So, what I will do, I will write let the given integral will be i equal to integral 0 to 1 integral x square to 2 minus x xy dy into dx. Since these limits are given in terms of x means they are clearly y limits. Obviously the remaining limits will be x limits. So x varying from 0 to 1 correspondingly y varying from x square to 2 minus x. Let us write old limit. So old limits are old limits are old limits means the limits which are given in the problem itself before changing the order. So x varies from 0 to x equal to 1 correspondingly y varies from x square to y equal to 2 minus x or x plus y equal to 2. See here y equal to x square represents a parabola clearly. Since x contains even powers, so it is symmetrical along y axis. Correspondingly, y equal to 2 minus x can also be written as x plus y equal to 2. So it is a straight line passing through the points 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 2. Let us draw them. If we draw them geometrically, First I will draw y equal to x square is a parabola symmetrical about y axis comes like this. This is y equal to x square and correspondingly x plus y equal to 2. x plus y equal to 2 means the point of intersections are 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 2. This is 0, 0. Now, the reason bounded by these two curves will be this reason. The reason bounded by both the curves will be this reason. We need to evaluate this reason by changing the order. According to the old limit, x is varying from 0 to 1. x is varying from 0 to 1. So, this point of intersection is nothing but 1 comma 1. This point of intersection is nothing but 1 comma 1 and uh, this point of intersection is nothing but 0 comma 1. This point of intersection is nothing but 1 comma 0. How we are getting? Simply I am solving these equations y equal to x square x square equal to 2 minus x. If I replace x square in place of y it is x square equal to 2 minus x or x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Clearly it is a quadratic equation. If we solve this equation, we will get x values as x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 2. x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 2. If I substitute when x equal to 1 Corresponding y value will be 1 square that is also 1. If I substitute x equal to minus 2, corresponding y value will be in place of x if I d plus minus 2 whole square that is 4. Therefore, points are 1 comma 1 and minus 2 comma 4. 
see this minus 2 comma 4 lies outside the reason so this point is not necessary for us only this 1 comma 1 is lies inside the reason on the reason therefore we are considering this point that's why this point of intersection is 1 comma 1 now from the diagram we can write the new limits therefore new limits are new limits are what are the new limits in the old limits we fixed x as constant in the new limit we have to fix y as constant so y is varying from see here there are two reasons there are two sub reasons here y is varying from 0 to 1 y is varying from 0 to y equal to 1 the corresponding x value the corresponding x is varying from here to here see on y axis x value is 0 so x equal to 0 to x equal to this curve what is this curve x square equal to y or x equal to root y x equal to root y and one more reason we have y varying from here to here so what is the y value y equal to 1 to y equal to 2 correspondingly how x is varying x is varying from this line to this line what is this line x equal to 0 to x equal to c this line equation is uh, this is x plus y equal to 2 this line equation is x plus y equal to 2 so x equal to what happens it is 2 minus y therefore from the new limits if we rewrite the given integral as therefore i equal to I will write it as integral 0 to 1 Correspondingly, x limits are x equal to 0 to uh, x equal to root y. Therefore, this is xy dx dy plus integral 1 to 2, 1 to 2. Corresponding x limits are x equal to 0 to x equal to 2 minus y, xy dx dy dx dy so we need to simplify this i equal to this is equal to integral 0 to 1 as it is integral 0 to 1 as it is since we are integrating with respect to x first y acts as constant x is remaining term so x integration will be x square by 2 between the limit 0 to root y into dy plus integral 1 to 2 as it is and again as I told we are integrating only x term y is constant x integration is x square by 2 between the limit 0 to 2 minus y into dy so i equal to this 1 by 2 I write outside integral 0 to 1 y into if we apply upper limit in place of x root y whole square that is y in place of x if i substitute root y root y whole square means will be y minus 0 into dy plus again this 1 by 2 i write outside integral 1 to 2 y as it is upper limit is 2 minus y 2 minus y whole square minus square limit is 0 0 into dy therefore we need to solve this we need to evaluate this i equal to 1 by 2 y into y y square integral 0 to 1 y square into dy plus 1 by 2 integral 1 to 2 uh, y into 2 minus y whole square a minus b a square plus b square minus 2ab 
that is 4y into dy or i equal to 1 by 2 y square integration will be y cube by 3 between the limit 0 to 1 plus 1 by 2 integral 1 to 2 y into 4 4 y y into y square y cube y into 4 y 4 y square into dy it is normal integration so i equal to 1 by i will uh, write this 2 also I mean 3 also outside 3 into 2 6 upper limit is 1 1 cube minus 0 plus 1 by 2 4y integration 4 constant y integration is y square by 2 plus y cube integration is y power 4 by 4 minus 4 into y square integration is y cube by 3 between the limit 1 to 2. So i equal to here 1 cube means 1, 1 minus 0, 1, 1 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2. 4 by 2 will be 2, y square, upper limit is 2, 2 square is 4, minus lower limit is 1, 1 square is 1, plus 1 by 4, upper limit is 2, 2 power 4, 2 power 4 means 2 2 is 4, 8, 16, minus 1 power 4 means 1, minus 4 by 3, upper limit is 2, 2 cube means 8 minus 1. So this is equal to, I equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2, 4 minus 1, 3, 3 2 is 6, 16 minus 1, 15, so it is 15 by 4, 8 minus 1, 7, 7 into 4 divided by 3. So that is 28 divided by 3. So if we simplify this again by taking LCM and if we simplify this, the final answer will be 3 by 8. Final answer will be 3 by 8. So this is the value of the given integral. Very simple. As I told here, the recent identification is very important as well as limits finding also an important task. So go through once from the beginning. If any doubts, any queries, please put in comment box. Thank you.